the move. He just sawed for us as well. He was sent marking and sawed. He did that. He just called for us here as well. So I don't know why he's calling like that. Maybe, maybe he's following. Maybe if another male in the area. I'm not too sure. But ooh, where he's going now is a very thick. And uh, yeah, he just marked it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We did follow tortoise pen the other day, and it was quite crazy. I'm just going to try. Sorry. I'm just going to try and get around here. Yeah. Just hold on there, Jan. I don't... Well, just let me know when. Look at that. What a beautiful poser. Right on top. So what he did now, he did do a call, like that typical saw of a leopard. And he's just listening out, so that's I'm thinking maybe another leopard in the area. Let's see if he's gonna lie down here for us. Hmm. Okay, well, clearly he's happy up onto this. So we're on another termite mound, but this termite mound is much higher and definitely a better viewpoint for him to really look down into this drainage line that's heading into the east eastern side. And that's the way he was looking when he was calling. As you can see where we are situated. We're not too far south of uh, the Biffles of Cut Line. I say give and take maybe about 200 meters to 300 meters south of Biffles of Cut Line. And you know that Tom and Gumi, most of his territory expands into Biffles Hook. But now he's just given us his, his back end of his head. We might try and see if we can move around that side. I think I'm going to try and just reposition here yeah, quickly. So I do apologize if the camera is going to shake a little bit here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Just gonna stop just here. I'm definitely gonna spend some more time with him here yeah, because of uh, because he just sawed there and was sent marking and he sawed, so that's why and he was calling for something. So I'm thinking um, maybe there might be a, another leopard in the area. I'll just keep a close eye around here. But look at his um, these rosettes. Uh, look at his rosettes. Uh, you can see little dots in the middle of uh, Tamangumi's rosettes. It's very, very interesting, his patterning. Um, I hardly ever see this on a leopard. And it's something very unique for this male. can imagine a tortoise pan coming into this area now that would be fun and games right here and that was my tummy <laughs> maybe that's what he heard earlier <laughs> it was my tummy that was growling unbelievable Mm, this golden light that's coming through now. 